Hello folks. Well, I'm gonna load some wheat. I sprayed, uh, let's see once, I sprayed yesterday. <laughs> These days are running together. But I did some burn down with dicamba and I think the label uh, for what I put down is calling for at least five days before I can seed. So I got things to do like load this truck with wheat. Um, gonna load it a little over half full just so it's not so heavy so I don't have any trouble in the fields. On my last uh, 240 acres of spraying and then I can oh I guess I gotta wait a few more days before I can see that first stuff I sprayed but uh, this stuff will have to lay for a while too Can't have that in the field. I got a couple new bulls here from that sale they got delivered. This guy wants to be scratched a little bit, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Good morning again. Uh, day two of wheat seeding. I'll show you my morning ritual. Let the tractor warm up and I start my fan right here. Um, and I'll crawl underneath the drill here to make sure the air is blowing out all the seed openers. I don't have um, that on a monitor when they plug so I have to well when the main one plugs I do but in individual ones I do not so I have to I don't know I just crawl under and check make sure they're all blowing Once I make sure the air is all blowing, I usually come over here and there's a crank here and I can crank the seed out and then I can check on the ground and make sure. I don't know if you can see it, all the kernels. I can verify that they're all open that way too. Once I verify that all the seed shoots are open, <clears throat> I uh, open my anhydrous. I do close it uh, in the evening before I, I quit. I do have a respirator I wear when I switch tanks. But for this, it's, everything's hooked up. There should be no leaks, of course, but I'm facing the wind, so if anything does happen, it, it uh, blows
miles away from me. But everything is closed, so I know what I checked everything over before I started this and made sure everything was closed and off. So when I open these valves, I have no problems. So I got everything ready to go. I'll climb in the tractor and let it warm up a little more and start seeding. You know, the first thing I do in the morning is take care of cattle. And you can see there that there's about half of them, or maybe not quite, that I fed. The rest are on the other side of all them trees. So I, I feed the cattle in the morning, check all the calves, make sure everything's okay, and then I go home and eat breakfast, I guess, before I come out here. Oh, I got, can't forget to start this thing.